The Odyssey, under the stewardship of Far Zenith, will be a triumph, not a retreat. This is why we will succeed. Welcome to Legends, a series that delves into the lore within Horizon Zero Dawn, a world with an abundance of powerful and moving history begging to be explored. Today, we attempt to shed light on one of the most mysterious and speculated topics in the world of Horizon, the Odyssey. In the early 2040s, a little less than 30 years before the Pharaoh Plague ravaged the Earth, a catastrophic climate crisis was the greatest threat to humanity. Rising sea levels were so destructive that in 2033, the archipelago off the coast of Portugal known as the Azores had been completely submerged. And by 2036, the entirety of New Zealand would also be swallowed beneath the waves. These disasters and the millions of refugees they created forced the leaders of the world to find solutions. In early 2041, the United States, the Western European Alliance, India, China, and Japan co-founded the Odyssey Project, a colony ship to be built in space, housing hundreds of thousands of cryogenically preserved zygotes to spawn a new generation of humans on a planet beyond the reaches of our solar system. To guide and educate these future colonists, the Odyssey would be equipped with an extensive archive of human history and culture known as the Homer Project, headed by future Zero Dawn Alpha, Samina Ebadaji. It would be this seminal work that would lead her to be the prime candidate to spearhead Apollo. Though much of the world's population initially viewed the Odyssey as an escape pod for the world's rich and powerful to leave our doomed planet behind, evidence would point to the Odyssey being a truly altruistic endeavor with the well-being of humanity at its core. And so, the construction of the Odyssey began. As hopeful as the future looked as the Odyssey took shape among the stars, the condition of Earth became ever more turbulent. From bioterrorism, rogue artificial intelligences, and natural disasters stemming from technologic malfunctions, the fate of the world looked bleak. More and more of the world's resources needed to be directed to grounded necessities, instead of high-flying ambitions. As a result, on July 7, 2057, in Paris, it was announced that the Odyssey Project would be no more and what existed of the vessel would be left, abandoned in space. As dead as the project seemed at this moment, this would not be the end of the Odyssey. Around the year 2061, a mysterious group of 77 of the world's wealthiest individuals of the self-described future consortium, known as Far Zenith, purchased what remained of the Odyssey project. All but one of these billionaires' identities remained a secret to the public, that being Oswald Dahlgaard, a Danish tech wunderkind who was the creator and CEO of All Seeing Hollow, the world's most popular hollow film sharing service, became the face of Far Zenith. He claimed there was no sinister intentions behind the shrouded identities of his fellow members, implying the stagecraft was only to build mystery, thus intrigue around the group. He also was adamant that under the stewardship of Far Zenith that the Odyssey would not be a retreat from Earth, but rather a triumph for it. Though Dalgard's intentions may have been true, what may have been a triumph for the people of Earth became yet another act of survival. In 2065, a year after the glitch of the chariot line of pharaoh robots had been detected, it was announced that the Odyssey had been completed. Dalgard informed the press that all systems appeared entirely operational, and after comprehensive testing, the craft would be ready to depart the solar system that July. With only 50 to 60 passengers aboard the craft, it would house 200,000 embryos in hopes of ensuring humanity's future, if not on Earth, then somewhere else. From this announcement in April to the launch date in July, hope for Earth's survival plummeted. It was estimated by November, there would be a complete collapse of atmospheric oxygen, leaving the Earth effectively uninhabitable. As human existence stood on its last leg, the Odyssey attempted to depart the solar system, leaving the doomed planet they once called home a distant and painful memory. This moment of triumph, however, over a decade in the making, was lost in an instant. Correspondence from Far Zenith to Dr. Elizabeth Sobeck informed her of the tragedy that had befallen the Odyssey. Some terrible news, I'm afraid. 
Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, were all lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Elizabeth. For most, myself included, it would appear that this is the true end of the Odyssey project. But for others, this colony ship may have had a much larger role to play in the world of Horizon than previously thought. This theory is based in the assumption that for reasons we can only speculate upon, Far Zenith or the members aboard the Odyssey falsified the telemetry of their own destruction, and the colony ship successfully departed for its exoplanet destination. The shadowy mystique that surrounds Far Zenith and its members may only strengthen the argument that their intentions for the Odyssey were perhaps less selfless than previously proposed. Also, there is precedent within the text of the Bridal Veil Falls vantage point that this telemetry of the future is not foolproof and can be tampered with to achieve a desired result. But why does any of this matter? Here's where this theory starts to get some teeth. It's now assumed, thousands of years later, the Odyssey and its crew somehow returned to Earth and did not find what they expected. Rather than discovering an Earth that was a reborn civilization, much like what they had left behind, they found a primitive and violent tribal world. A world that in its present state, they could not reclaim. Upon coming to this realization, the Odyssey sent a signal from space, which in turn launched a virus to initiate the Hades subfunction of Gaia to reset the process of bringing life back to Earth, eradicating the current human population. This leading to a second chance for the members of the Odyssey, enlightened by their intact version of Apollo, to shape the world in a more civilized way. In short, according to this theory, the unknown signal that awoke Hades, led to the self-destruction of Gaia, and subsequently the birth of Aloy, was sent by the Odyssey. Definitely a compelling thing to think about, but there are several parts of this theory that I have to take question with. One, what is there to gain from faking their own failure? If there was no life left on Earth, what was to be gained from lying to the dead? And if they did return under the assumption that Zero Dawn, the super weapons program, had succeeded, they would have to explain why they're still alive. It just seems needless. Two, there's no evidence that Far Zenith knew the true purpose of Zero Dawn. This means even if the Odyssey was still operational and then managed to return to Earth, they would have no knowledge of Gaia or Hades. Perhaps they were able to scan or detect this tech, but it seems highly unlikely that they had the necessary knowledge or the clearance to override many of the redundancies built into Zero Dawn to activate the Hades subfunction. And three, the time frame. If the Odyssey was responsible for the unknown signal, and Hades had succeeded in eradicating all life on Earth once more, it would have taken thousands of years to repeat the process of rewilding the planet to the point it had returned to, as it took thousands of years the first time. And that's if everything goes correctly. I'm not sure if the Odyssey, its crew, or the future generations it would have potentially spawned were willing or able to wait that process out in space or venture back to their planet until the process was complete. Is this theory possible? Sure. Does it add an element of intrigue and human deviousness to the world of Horizon? Absolutely. I don't know if I'm wholly convinced that this is the origin of the Unknown Signal, but if the Odyssey is still out there, it certainly adds a whole new level of possibilities to where this epic will lead us next. And with that, our journey comes to an end. If you'd like to see more content like this, likes and shares are always appreciated. And if you really like our stuff, subscribe away. Do you think the Odyssey is the source of the unknown signal? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're not completely sold on the Odyssey, be sure to check out our Hades video if you want to know our take on the unknown signal. And until next time, thanks for watching and keep questing.